what you call the Tensei Spirium. In what was supposed to be top of the agenda for the National Assembly's Committee on Education to answer a query by nominated MP Wilson Socion, the Education Cabinet Secretary instead sent an apology, a move that did not sit well with NAT Secretary General Wilson Socion. These are questions that are classified to be extremely important and urgent to the nation. And... Uh, it has to be responded to within a given timeline. Shall we not be breaching the timelines by, uh, by giving a, an indefinite timeline? Because the secretary has to appear or send his representative with a written, with a written uh, permission to represent him. That is accept either a CS or a principal secretary. So for this case, I think the, the standing orders 42E is very clear, that he must appear in person, so that apart from the questions, the question that he is uh, answering, there are a number of supplementary issues that members are asking. However, in a written response obtained by Ibru TV, the Education CS gives the findings of the report into the status of investigations into the cause of recent student deaths at Precious Talent Academy and Kakamega Primary School. This included the teachers not supervising learners' movement along the staircase as was part of the routine. The team also found out that the corridor was too narrow to allow free movement of pupils. The ministry recommended a raft of disciplinary measures to be meted on teachers who neglected their duties. They also recommended psychosocial support services be offered to both teachers and pupils, with which the ministry established that the services were offered. However, it is not yet clear whether the teachers on duty received any disciplinary measures. Magoha is expected to appear in person to explain the findings of the report on the 24th of this month. Meanwhile, the NAT Secretary General questioned on the lack of a third nominee of nominated TSC commissioners ahead of Thursday vetting process. According to Socion, there were three vacancies advertised, but the President has only nominated two names for two positions. To participate in an exercise where three positions were advertised and then we are given two names, what is the fate of the third one? Because once we are through with this exercise, we shall leave some regions disenfranchised. Is there any reason why a name cannot be forwarded, yet the vacancies, were at the positions were advertised, interviews conducted, names should listed. Positions were advertised. There was a nominating panel. And that is why we said we'll write to Kinyua, the owner of the names, to tell us, you go three, how did you arrive at two? That's the question, that's the letter we are supposed to take to, to the head of public service. And that's your question. The National Assembly's Education Committee Chair, Julius Meli, says the Speaker of the National Assembly has yet to receive any memoranda contesting the current nominated names, that is Mbage Njuguna, Nganga and Leila Abdi Ali. Members of the public have until tomorrow evening to write against the vetting process of the nominees. Diana Rachel Mbogwa, Ibrutivi. So I think it was in the, in the wisdom of the Speaker.